So welcome, this is Building a Niche Business using ready-made content sites. Let me explain the webinar format for you. I'm going to interview Michael Bannett, who has, uh, well, he's had a few sites, and some of them he's sold, and, and he's working on a new one at the moment, which is a very interesting niche. And we're going to be asking him about his process for creating sites, uh, the type of things he's doing with the latest site. I'm going to give him some consultation on that site, which I think you should find interesting, hopefully because we'll be looking at the ways he might improve it, uh, make it a little bit more targeted to his audience, expand the reach and so on. So we're going to cover a few different things. I'm going to show you a live demonstration of adding a ready-made blog site to a blank WordPress blog. Then I'm going to talk about how you can get a site made for you, which is unique, so specific for you. And I'll give you an offer at the end of this for those websites if you want to stick around. And I'll try to keep this as non-technical for you today as possible. Uh, yes, there will be a replay, which you'll get. So anybody who wants to see the installation of a hot niche pack, um, well, you'll be able to look at the replay and see what to do. It's pretty simple, fairly straightforward. Uh, so welcome, everybody. I'm Eamon Motin from Prosperative.com. You can see me there. That's me looking rather fed up at being in the house all day <laughs> studying content. And I've got a special guest, so we're going to say hello to him in a moment. So, Michael, if you get ready with your microphone in a couple of seconds. So my guest is Michael Bannett. There's a couple of pictures of him here, and we'll explain why there are two pictures. So, Michael, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you? Excellent. I'm great. Thank you. So how are you? Good over there? Yeah. Yeah, all good. Uh, the sun is shining. It is the morning. I think it's the evening for you. Michael, we've got two pictures here. Let's start with the one on the right, first of all. You have... A, a real business, as it were, not an offline business that you run, and so you, you know, you you work uh, with people directly, but you've also branched out into the online world. Now, I think one of the first sites you did relates to the image on the left. Could you just tell us a little bit about the background to that, so people can understand where you're coming from? Then we'll have a look at the website and, and talk about that, and then take it from there. Yeah, sure. So. Um... This goes back a few years. Um, I got into fitness and training and lifting weights, really enjoyed it, and um, ended up um, doing a competition, uh, bodybuilding, and winning it. And that was, I think, sort of in my early 50s. And so someone suggested, well, you know, there's probably quite a few guys your age that would be interested to find out how you can, can do this. And what's the best way to approach it? So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll build a website and use myself as the, you know, the hero's journey story, you know, big belly and couch potato and then turning into someone who's, who's winning a competition. And um, so, yeah, I built the website from scratch. Um, and, yeah, we can talk about that in a moment a little bit, which was <laughs> a very painful and long-winded process. Um, it was months. It wasn't weeks. It wasn't days. It was months. And in that respect, it was frustrating because I had all these ideas and I had all this this content and I wanted to get it all out there. But um, it was just a very laborious uh, process. Eventually, it We're was gonna up there. Side, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll see the sign. We'll see the sign in a moment. That so, in a moment. Yeah. yeah, please. So yeah. please continue. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, that uh, worked out all right. And um, it... Um, yeah, got uh, a good following, and um, then after a few years, I suddenly got approached by someone, um, and uh, they said, "Oh, look, um, what we're seeing there is, is something we we would add to our portfolio. Are you interested in selling your site?" And I thought, "Wow, gosh, <laughs> it's great to be asked and to be found, and for someone else to see the value in this." And um, you know, as they say in the Italian movies, they made me an offer. I couldn't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're and looking at the so, site now. Yeah, you know. that's the so story. This you, yeah, so it took you months to build. Now, let's start with the niche, first of all. This is a very personal niche for you because it's something you enjoyed, something you did. Um, you improved your body. I know you, you wanted to work on your physique and so on back then. And you, you won some competitions, bodybuilding competitions. So you, you had a, a particular expertise in this which you then 
used to build the site. But the expertise was about the exercises. And you created mm. a video sequence of exercises explaining people to people how to exercise safely. You're targeting people, you know, such as me, for example, who uh, a little bit older, haven't exercised, not particularly strong. Uh, and I know there were uh, lots of ways you were recommending the exercises should be performed so that no injuries would occur. So you had a specific knowledge set, but you didn't have at that time, I think, a knowledge set about building sites. And that's why it took you months. Is that right? That's absolutely correct. Yes. It, now, uh, it took uh, ages. Yeah. <laughs> so here's how you can have your own site in just a few clicks. So I'm going to go through this with you because if you want a unique site to start with, where you've just done a couple of clicks and it takes you five minutes, what you can do is buy a NicheJet Authority site. Now, the regular price is 397 These sites have made literally well over $100,000 for us in AdSense, and some of the other people who bought them have made tens of thousands of dollars as well. I'm not going to guarantee that for you because it depends on other things you do, but they make a lot of money. You get five unique articles. You get a custom header graphic, a premium theme, and then your choice of niche. Now, look, you know, obvious things we're not going to do. We're not doing anything adult if it's hate-filled, you know, if it's illegal, no. So there may be some that we would have to say no to, but all the normal topics we can do. We create a fan book, uh, a Facebook fan page, and at the moment, until Sunday, you can save $100 and you get it for 297 So to get the discount at the checkout, there's a code which is build my sites, no spaces, and what you have to do it's important when you get to the checkout in the coupon code as you can see there there's a little box you put in build my sites no spaces and then you click that little blue arrow you can see just at the end there on the right hand side that will apply the discount for you and the price comes down to 297 please don't forget to do that because then you'd pay the full price make sure to put the correct email address in this box because that's how we will contact you <laughs> We know that sometimes people actually type their email address wrong, surprisingly. So please put the correct one so we can contact you. At the end of it, you'll be given a page. But if you don't see the page, don't worry. You'll get a welcome email to the email you've just given us. And you'll see something like this where you give us an email address to contact you. You tell us about your site, what keywords you'd like. We can choose a niche for you if you want, but it's better if you choose your own. And you can see that there's some uh, boxes here where you give us the specific keyword that you would want. So muscle building, gym exercises, uh, online exercise course, that kind of thing, depending on what you, yeah, you, what you want for your particular niche. And then when you click on Start Building My Site, that will go through to our site builders, and they will literally start building the site for you. They will buy a domain, they'll create the content, We'll install the blog and so on. But please, you've got to give us the right hosting login details because if you don't, we, we can't log in and build it, obviously. Now, I want to say something which will sound extremely rude, but I think I think you'll be <laughs> I think you're okay with it because I spoke to you earlier about this. This website isn't particularly special. It's you know, it's it's a basic <laughs> website. Yes. Right? But there's a couple of things about it. You have content on it, first of all. The content was of interest to a specific group, second. And you've got a product at the back of it, which is a video series. That's the third thing. And you've made money from it. I know you had some sales of the, the product yourself. But you've also sold the entire website. So you've, you've turned a profit on it. Now, if you want to share the next bit, you can. I think um, you were happy to sell, from what I remember you telling me at the time, uh, because you'd gained a certain notoriety in your home region. Is that right? Yes. People yes. found out about you, and it's sort of interfering with your day job almost. Yes, it actually had an impact uh, on that because um, this is a very small community, and uh, word got out, and, uh, you know, it sort of turned into, oh, I thought you weren't doing this anymore because you're now you're this bodybuilding guy. And yeah. I lost, lost customers because of that, which I'd never expected. <laughs> so, yeah, that's no. sort of, <laughs> I was quite happy to, to sell and, and, and be done with it then. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting concept that success with this website actually cost you in a different arena. Yeah. So I know that you're going to have um, a slightly different approach 
pen names and so on when you're doing mm -hmm. new websites in the future yeah. and that will protect your your online identity which is absolutely fine um, I'm just getting one person saying there's no audio. Tom is saying that. Is everybody else getting the audio? I assume you are because I'm not getting comments about it. Um, sometimes that happens and the recording is almost always perfect. So if anybody does have problems with it dropping out the audio, we are live on the internet. There are bandwidth issues. A lot, a lot of places are getting throttled connections now at the moment. So if it does happen, the replay will normally be perfect for you. So I wasn't being rude about this when I said it's not a spectacular looking site. It, it's not, but it's a functional site. And the point that really counts is that you made something, you took action and you got results and sale. And, you know, you sold the entire uh, rights to the, the whole thing. I'm going to ask you a question, which is a silly question, and everybody will know what the answer would be. But I would like to hear your reaction. If you could have made that site in a day, would you have said yes or no? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Hmm. So one of the things we like to do wherever possible is find shortcuts for people. Uh, and so we're going to have a look at that in a moment. Now, we'll talk about your website in more detail, the new one that we're going to be looking at, which is a very interesting niche. And you've got some ideas about how to expand it and franchise it and um, perhaps allow affiliates to promote it in a particular way that we'll mention. Before we do that, um, I would just like to take one moment and I'm going to just go back to the slides. So let's uh, continue with Michael's story and his current plan. So Michael, you've, you've built one website, took you a bit of time. Of course, you were new to doing that. And you know, if you were to do it again, you'd probably do things slightly differently. You then sold it. Um, so you made profit on it, which was great. The process of actually building the site, was that fun? Or what, what was it like in terms of, you know, your day-to-day -day activity with it? How did it feel actually making the site? Well, let me put it this way. I enjoyed lifting extremely heavy weights for numerous times, a lot more than sitting down every day on the site, doing what became onerous chores after a while. because yep. I had to do it and I knew I wouldn't get the product out um, if I wasn't keep on doing it, but it wasn't a particularly enjoyable task. And um, I'm not an overly technical person, um, you know, age comes into it as well. I always said this is a game for 18 year olds. And yes. so I, I really struggled um, with the technicalities for quite a few things. I sort of had to go for help to Fiverr and that can work, but it can also be quite a laborious exercise until you find the right person that understands what you're doing. Um, and so uh, none of it was straightforward. Um, there were pretty much obstacles every week. And mm. without whinging too much about it, it wasn't a very enjoyable process. <laughs> Definitely wasn't, yeah. <laughs> Now, the particular content that you had, which, uh, and you made videos of your exercise routines in the gym, mm. and I remember seeing some of them, they were really good. Those particular videos and that content, did you enjoy making that? Oh, absolutely loved it. Yeah, we, we, we basically got access from the gym. We went in there at midnight because everybody had to be out because I didn't want any background noises. So my wife and I went in there at, at, at midnight and we had the gym to ourselves and we just powered through that. And it was a really it was surreal being there in the middle of the night, being the only people in a huge gym. But it was also great fun because I had the place to myself and I was doing something that I was enjoying. And uh, that was that was probably the best part of the whole process. Yeah, really loved it. Now, I think for most people, the thing you like doing is going to be the thing you like doing, whether that's uh, crafting or photography or exercise or, uh, you know, working out in the gym, whatever it may be that your hobby or your passion is. We do those things a lot because we love doing them. So really, if you can focus on your strengths, you're more likely to get results more quickly because you will put effort into that in a way that is very, very easy for you. And the energy you can put into it can be massive compared to struggling with something, you know, that you have to learn and start from scratch. And like you said, it's really a game for young techie kids, you know, the Silicon Valley clever people. Um, so if you can focus on those things that are really your core, 
no pun intended with exercise, by the way, if you can focus on those things that are really your passion, you can put a ton of energy into them, which shows up in the content, because that kind of passion comes through in the way you talk about it, the videos you make, and so on. So, okay, I've got a, a question for you. Your current second business, we're going to take a look at it in a second and talk about it in some detail. Um, I'll actually create a website online in front of everybody within a couple of minutes first, and then we'll look at the website itself. But can you just give us an outline of what it is and why you came to this particular niche? Yes. Um, I know it's I a big talk, question. Yes, and if I run off on a tangent, you may have to pull me back because I find this very exciting, obviously. <laughs> um, I saw an article about five, six years ago, a very short mention in a German magazine, and I thought, wow, that's interesting. So I filed that for future reference. Didn't do anything about it. And then I came across the same subject um, about six months ago in connection to something completely unrelated, which was um, something in the field of coaching, psychology, self-help. Um, and it was around values and so forth. And I thought, wow, com if I combine that with this concept that I think nobody else is doing, at least at the time I thought so, this could actually be a really amazing um, transformational workshop uh, experience. And so I started um, doing some more research on it. Uh, I saw some very strange things um, coming out of Asia in regards to this kind of uh, thing. And um, I decided, OK, I'll use the, the guts of it and the idea but I'll build a whole workshop that has to do with, you know, finding your true core values, um, going through a process of self-discovery in a way that I haven't seen anyone else do it before. I mean, I know there are a lot of claims of, hey, this is a game changer, but I thought I had something completely different and unique. And then I decided, okay, before I start bogging myself down with doing everything what I normally do is I'll, I'll build the website, all of this kind of, no, 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 I'll try this out first. I need to see if this actually works or is this only in my head. So I had a couple of uh, guinea pigs to go through this <laughs> and I had, sorry, I shouldn't say guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we cut this out in the recording? In the, in <laughs> yeah, we can. Okay. Early um, I had some volunteers <laughs> and um, yeah, the results were pretty amazing uh, for them. And it was great for me to see actually physically see in their faces coming yeah. out of the experience. And so I knew I had something really worthwhile that would help people. And that's then sure when the I decided, OK, OK, yeah. oh, here so, it is. Yeah. This is the website. So this is Michael's particular niche. By the way, somebody said uh, he's never heard a, a British guy say niche before. I actually say niche because most of the people we get on these webinars are from the US. Um, so if I'm speaking to people here, I would say niche, which is how we say it in the UK. The point about that, if I can just digress for a second, is that if you speak to your audience in the language that they understand, they're more likely to listen to your message. If you use terms that they are not familiar with or find, in their view, to be wrong, it jars and stops the message from getting through. Does that make sense for everybody? So if I were to talk about niche, and 95% of the people we get on these webinars are from the US, 95% of those people would get a jarring experience because it sounds wrong to them. So if I was speaking to an audience in Germany and if my German were better, I would speak in German if possible because it would be a more direct connection. So Michael's first website, he was speaking to people who wanted to learn how to exercise and he was using their types of language, you know, increase your biceps and this kind of thing, and then showing them the exercises and so on. And most of the guys, I would guess, who wanted to build muscle at that age will know what a barbell is and a dumbbell and so on. So the terminology 
becomes part of the content in a way that draws the group in even closer. So it's, it's a good thing to remember that when you're dealing with a group, if you can sort of drill down and be specific as to what their kind of language is, you can reach them in a more direct and engaging way by using that same kind of terminology. If I was speaking to people who have a medical background, um, I would use the terms that I know to make more sense to them and also to gain some credibility in what I'm saying. So it's, it's a good thing to remember that your audience generally will be a particular type of audience and if you speak to them in the way that they expect, you're more likely to engage with them. Sorry, Michael, it was just a slight digression there. Sure. So living funeral process, um, and uh, actually, can I just show the site? Because that, that would be interesting. Um, I said we'd look at it later, but we've got some long form content, which is good. Some nice sidebars here with videos, which is great. Nice clear categories. We've got images in here, which break up the flow of the articles, which keeps the eye entertained. Uh, we've got bold for subheadings and so on, which again draws the eye through. So this is significantly cleaner and better looking than your first attempt. So there we go, that's the, the website. You see it's a very long article on the home page. So I'll just go back to the top. So what is the living funeral process? It's a at this stage a four hour personal workshop whereby I take people through various exercises um, of self-discovery. Um, it goes quite deep. Uh, for some people it's a hugely emotional experience and um, there is one aspect of it which uh, sparks a lot of curiosity. Um, I put people in a coffin. Uh, actually in a casket. There is a distinction <laughs> between a coffin and a casket. I had to learn that. Yeah. So okay. uh, basically they get uh, towards the end of it uh, when they are ready and primed through all the other exercises they did before. Uh, they go for about 10 to 20 minutes into this casket and reflect basically on the life up to that point. And the whole idea is, okay, you acknowledge this, you've made your peace with the way your life went up to this point, and now when they come out, it's a new beginning, a new start, and it's all about where do I go from here now that I've established my core values, what I really want from life, the things I've done wrong, I leave them behind, and now I'm going to move on into this new awakening after a rebirthing process, so to speak. So that's a very powerful um, physical experience at that point and yeah that's that's in a nutshell yeah I have to be very careful not to go on and on about it <laughs> well that's interesting you say that's a nutshell um, and I was going to ask everybody in the audience have you heard the phrase elevator pitch <clears throat> and this is usually a, a short pitch that will essentially give people the idea of what you're promoting or selling or what you're all about very quickly in the time it would take you to take an elevator or lift a couple of floors, you know, what do you do? And if you can catch somebody's attention quickly, they're more likely to listen further. If you don't catch the attention quickly, they probably won't keep listening. So even though you may have a lot of information to share, it's good to give them enough to, it's a hook. Get them hooked so they want a little bit more, then you give them a bit more with another hook. And many of you will have watched soap operas, and you know at the end they have that dramatic music and a big close-up on somebody's face and something dramatic happens, and then they cut away to the adverts and so on, and you want to know what happens next. With a book, they call them page turners, you know, so that we we got to leave people with wanting a little bit more. So what you've done, Michael, there, which, um, and this is not a criticism, it's just to explain uh, why I'm mentioning this, is to give a very full explanation. What I would be inclined to do, and by the way, to everybody listening, uh, Michael has very graciously agreed to let me uh, give him critique on his website and his comments and, and content and so on. Yeah, absolutely. What I would be inclined to do is put the elevator pitch first, which is the big promise. What's the big promise? At the beginning of this, we said, you know, can you build a, a I'm going to teach you how to build websites with ready-made content. I could explain that in greater detail, but people will get it, you know, pretty quickly and they want to know, well, how? 
where do I get it? What do we do? And so on. So I would go for the elevator pitch. We're going to come back to your website in a second, and we're going to talk about how you made this. But I want to show people how easy it can be. And then I'm going to talk about making it even easier. So here I've got a blog with nothing on it, absolutely nothing, uh, and I'm logged in. So I'm going to add a plugin, which only takes a couple of seconds, uh, and it's called the All-in-One plugin. Now there's a few of these. These are clone plugins, and I'm going to use one of the hot niche packs that we sell regularly. We will be having another um, offer on that in the next couple of months. And I'll show you how easy it is to get a website. This is what my website looks like now. I've installed a blog. It's blank. I used something called Softaculous. It's a couple of clicks to get the blank blog installed. And I now have this migration option here. So if I go to the import and I import from a file, I'm going to drag and drop a particular file. If I remember where I put it, just bear with me. Uh, downloads. There we go. And this is the file. This is the kind of thing you would get if you buy a hot niche pack. And depending on the speed of your internet, and at the moment I'm I'm streaming video and audio to you. We've got Michael with audio. Uh, we've got throttled bandwidth connection. So it's going to take a few seconds longer than normal. But depending on your bandwidth connection and the time of day you're doing this, it could take a minute, could take five minutes. I can go and do something else while that's happening. I'll show you what happens when that uh, has finished the import. So while that's working, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to Michael. So, Michael, my my inclination is that your kind of your headline on the homepage there, and your elevator pitch, as it were, needs to be pretty short and snappy, and focus on the positives. We don't need to tell people the how and the why at that stage. That comes yeah. later, right? So we, we're going to focus on the benefits to them because most people are interested in what's in it for them. Will it make them feel better? Will it make them more money? What will it do for them? You know, if I buy a new camera, because that's my major sort of obsession, I want to know that it will give me a better picture, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't want to know how long it will take me to learn how to use it. So if the guy in the shop says, yes, this has tons of features and it will take you about three weeks to learn how to use it, he's not selling me the camera. If he says to me, this actually has built-in intelligence that will make sure that the subject is crisp and clear and focused, it's a benefit to me. So I'm going to do this on the cuff. In reality, I'd spend some time thinking about this, but I would be inclined with your particular experience there to say something along the lines of, this experience is a way of identifying the points in your life which have kept you stuck and allow you to move past them and become the person you were always meant to be, something of that nature. So what I'm giving people is a little bit of hope and so on, and that's finished. So I'll, I'll continue with this in a second. So something very simple and you know very positive that wants, I want to know more, you know, as soon as you tell me it's going to let me be the person I, I'm, I'm really meant to be, okay, well, how do we do that? Tell me a bit more. And then your next paragraph would be, the process we use is one of identifying in a safe environment the obstacles and the imbalances in your life that you've had so far. And we then teach you how to let that go so that your emotional baggage is now unburdened from you and then you know a little bit more from that and so on so it's it's really a case of building on building on building and, and rather than giving everything at once what we're doing is bringing people along with us <coughs> excuse me bringing people along with us much like your articles there you had some images and some uh, bold headings and so on it just breaks it up so that people can kind of follow it through and then it takes them with it so I'll, I'll interrupt while i'm doing this i've just clicked on import now uh, and that's just what it's doing now is building an entire website for me. So this is a hot niche pack uh, and it's done. So I'm going to have to save the permalink structure, which doesn't take long. Let's do that now. And OK, I've got an old database format. That's fine. And I've got to log in and the permalinks are a way of getting the post names to say what you want. You can have numeric or you can have titles or whatever you choose, but titles generally, which we've got here, the post name, will give you a better search engine optimization. So we just click Save Changes. 
text a second. So in total, including talking to Michael and so on, that was what, five minutes, something like that. So that's how it looked before. If I refresh this page now, this is how my blog looks now, including social mm -hmm. sharing media, a nice gallery, articles. Looks pretty good, right? So I, it took me literally a couple of minutes. What's the downside? Well, the downside is that when we sell these hot niche packs, we sell about uh, 25 copies, sometimes 20, of the same site. So everybody who buys that is going to have the same content. You can change it. I'll show you that in a moment. But, you know, it's something to be aware of. But it's a quick way of getting a website. And it looks good, I think. We've got articles here. Now, the thing about these websites is that you may not be in this particular niche. You know, rustic home decor. OK, so you might have wanted it about, uh, I don't know, looking after cats or teaching dogs tricks. I don't know. Or in Michael's case, the living funeral process. Let me show you the website that Michael started with doing exactly the same as I've just shown you. He used a hot niche pack to begin with. This was the original hot niche pack. And look, very similar, right? So what he's done is installed it on a new domain. And then he's modified the articles on it, which is what I would do with my blog here, my example blog. You can take almost any article or any niche and turn it into almost anything else. And I'm going to show you that in a moment live. And if anybody has an odd niche that they want me to kind of convert this to, we'll see if we can do that live. But essentially, um, you take the content, you look at the structure, and then you wrap your information around that structure. Let me explain what I mean. What we have here as a title is, that's a topic, rustic home decor, living funeral, building muscle after 50, is a something affordable, okay? Style of design. Now, the style of design bit is what we change. The rustic home decor we change. But affordable, do we need to change that? Because, Michael, your first uh, video series, that was cheaper than paying a personal trainer. I don't know what you pay over in, in New Zealand. Um, do you know what a personal trainer would charge per session? Uh, easily 25 to 30 bucks an hour uh, for half an hour, yeah. So, right, and that would be each session. And I think you were selling it at $17 for the entire thing. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so it's affordable, right? So let's just, I'm going to do the the muscle over 50 for a moment, but then we'll come and look at the living funeral. Now, I, I hate the block editor, but anyway. So the topic here is affordable. So online muscle building courses are an affordable, affordable what? Way to build muscle. So let me just update that and show you what it looks like. I've only done the heading, I know. But, you know, if I text, if I change every word of the text, it's boring to just sit and watch me uh, type. What I want to show you are the principles so that you can apply them yourself to any topic. Online muscle building courses are an affordable way to build muscle. Is that a reasonable headline? You tell me. Because yeah. what I'm setting out is my stall. Yeah? Right. Okay. Mm. I've used the structure that is already there. If I stare at a blank page and think, what headline should I use? What should be the first article? I mean, you know, if it's not unreasonable to ask you, Michael, when you were doing your first post on your site, how long did it take you to come up with the title and the actual content? The written content, not the video. It would have taken ages it, um, because, yeah, it's it's really the blank page bit that um, is absolutely yeah. daunting. And, you know, you, you want to get it right. And you're, yeah. you're agonizing over this endlessly uh, rather than with what you're doing, where you're saying, OK, I've got something here I can work with. I yeah. can mix this up, change it. Um, you've got something to work with, um, saving you a lot of time rather than sitting at the the staring at the blank page yeah yeah it seems to be that we're all as people much better at saying no i don't like that than we are at creating in the first place so if you have a blank canvas you've got to have a lot of skill right if you have something in front of you you say well okay i'll change that now of course you would change the images as well you can get those done on fiverr 
um, for the header and so on. But that's a minor detail. So let me just go back and edit a little bit more. I'm not going to do the entire post, I promise you, because watching somebody type is boring. But I just want to show you the next bit. So rustic decor. We, we've just seen, haven't we, what that is. We're talking about the topic at hand. So let's have a look at what we would do. Online exercise courses are, and ignore me for the spelling mistakes if you would, because I, you know, I would fix that normally. So now I'm using a different term. I'm using exercise courses, extra keywords rather than just saying muscle building all the time. Are a wonderful way to to there we go. To what? Well, they're talking about decorating a house, so we're going to be talking about something that's the equivalent. Decorating a house is what? It's changing something, isn't it? So that you like the look of it better. Okay. Is a wonderful way to change your body to the one you desire. How does that sound? Now, let's have a look. Let me just get rid of that. And I'm using a Mac, so the keys for dis uh, getting rid of things are a bit different. Uh, and then without making it seem too sterile. So maybe we'd say without having to spend a fortune on personal trainers. Now, I don't know about you, uh, everybody in the audience, but I personally wouldn't want to spend, you know, 40, 50 bucks a week having somebody tell me how to exercise until I get the results I want. It's an expensive way of doing it. Um, you might want to do it, you know, because you like the social aspect and so on, but the money, not everybody can afford it. So what I'm getting now, let me just make some space so you can see. That's annoying me, that spelling mistake. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to change it because it really is annoying me. Um, so how that reads now, if I can do it, courses, yep, yeah, is, let's show you. And bear in mind, this is real simple stuff to do. I'm just changing a couple of words each time. Is that making sense to everyone? Uh, I'm changing the content. That's good. But what about the URL? Uh, OK, that's a good question from Cheryl. I'll break from a moment for a moment. The URL, there are two of them. There's the main domain, and you choose the domain that you would do this with. You set up a domain to be whatever name you choose. And then there's the page URL. So we've got rustic home decor is an affordable style of design. I'll change that for you in a second, Cheryl, and I'll show you how easy it is to do. But let's read this uh, first couple of paragraphs now. Online muscle building courses and are affordable are an affordable way to build muscle. Online exercise courses are a wonderful way to change your body to the one you desire without having to spend a fortune on personal trainers. Right, I'm straight in there with the elevator pitch. I'm telling people information that's going to hit them where they want. They want the body. They don't want to spend a, a fortune. It's already an article about bodybuilding. So we've then got things like these headings, thrift stores, flea markets, and garage sales. What are we talking about here? Remember the principle here is we're trying to identify the structure so that we can follow it. Well, these are places where you can buy home decor. So let me just go back and edit the page for Cheryl to show her the page URL, which was a good question. So up here, if I click in the um, title box here, I've got the what they call the permalink. That's the page URL. And you can see it says rustic home decor is affordable. But I've got an edit button. And here's a little trick. If you just delete that and then save it, it puts in the title for you. Let me just click update. You see, I didn't Ooh, even have clever. to type. Isn't that nice? <laughs> So, yeah, I'm a lazy man. I, believe me, if there's a way to do something quickly, I'll show you. So now, look at this. Online muscle building courses are an affordable way to build muscle. Got some nice keywords in there, long term, uh, long tail keywords. Of course, if you prefer something more specific, I'll just go back and show you. If you're not lazy like me, you can edit, get rid of everything, um, and let's say online muscle course and then save and now that is the url so in five seconds you can have a url that suits you it can be a long tail one from the title it can be a very specific one like that it takes a couple of seconds right don't forget to update so the next paragraph i am going to do it while we're here just for the sake of it because you know i want to show you a little bit more 
and then we'll come back to Michael's site and so on. But essentially what we're doing is looking at the structure. Now here, here's another one, buy decor item, items online. This could say buy cameras online. This could say buy gym equipment online. This could say buy DVDs and home courses online. It could even say buy home workout apps on the Apple Store. It's talking about where you can buy the product that your site visitor is interested in. That's the principle of that particular statement, okay? Here one, splurge on the right items. That doesn't even need changing. If you spend your money on the right items, you get better results, don't you? That's common to anything, whether it's oil paints, if you're a painter, uh, the kind of golf clubs that you use, if you're a golfer, the exercise equipment, the kind of gym. If you spend money on the right kind of gym with good equipment, good showers, uh, good maintenance, good safety, good lighting, you're more likely not to be hurt, right? So that one, again, is a very, very simple change. So look here, let's just, I'm gonna read this instead of type it. When you're looking at the cost of exercise routines, you should think about whether you want to skimp on paying for personal advice or the, whether you want to splurge for that because it can be expensive over the longer term. You shouldn't be afraid to go over your budget if it will get you the results you desire and you can afford it. Um, anything that you will use frequently, for example, if you create a home gym and is of the right quality, will stand you in good stead for years to come provided you make use of it, okay? That's simple as that, right? Now we're getting a, a, an entire paragraph that's now purely about uh, muscle building. Okay, if you're buying a rug, if you buy something that is going to get a lot of use, okay. If you're buying barbells and they're going to get a lot of use because you're going to use them every day, please purchase something that will take the use. Don't go for the cheapest because they may be unpleasant to use. The paint finish may a flake off from them and it but it just won't be as beneficial an investment as buying a quality set that will last you a lifetime something like that it's the same principle but now we're just changing the content a little bit to match about the new topic does that make sense um yes manuel there is going to be a replay certainly uh, okay, so I've got a question from General again, which is a good one. What if your main URL was rusticcountryliving.com, build muscle, muscles now? Okay. I'm talking about what goes before the .com. If you decide to change your website, you already own according to this method. First thing I would say, General, is that you know using a totally non-matching domain doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense, really. So my my site here... MWSFTT, that just stands for my website for testing things. So I've, I've got a website I can play with. But if I had a website that was rusticcountryliving.com, I don't think I would put a, a you know very specific muscle building content on it because it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't properly match. I'd be tempted to buy a new domain. And you know, for ten dollars not a tremendous expense. So I wouldn't try to make a, a website domain fit something it doesn't fit. So if you've got a domain name that fits something to do with exercise or building muscles or you know, working out, that's fine. But really, your domain name does need to be kind of matching. And that helps Google to understand what the website is about. So certainly, I wouldn't put something like rustic <laughs> country living uh, with content to do with muscle building. So I'll just finish this last bit for you uh, before we continue. Thrift stores, flea markets, and garage sales. You don't have to buy brand new. Okay, so let's have a look. Thrift stores, flea markets, and garage. I don't even have to change that. When you're trying to uh, build muscle at home, you don't necessarily have to buy brand new. I mean, that's absolutely right, isn't it? Buy items that are brand new. In many cases, an item that has a little bit of wear and tear will uh, still have lots of life, oh, I can't type, life in it, and give you a good workout. Barbells, for example, are pretty solid and long-lasting. Yep. 
So let's just have a look at that now. So now I've changed another paragraph, and that was what, 30 seconds, something like that? So Michael, I'm, I'm typing this and talking and so on. I want to ask you a question, and please feel free to answer this absolutely honestly. Don't be, you don't have to be polite or anything. Clearly, you know exactly um, about muscle building. You, it, it's something you're an expert on. You've won competitions. The things I've been saying to you in terms of change this to say that and, you know, get quality barbells and all that kind of thing, don't spend a fortune on personal trainers. Does any of it sound like somebody who doesn't know something about exercise, or does it sound like somebody who may know a little bit about exercise? Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like somebody who knows enough to make this um, flow and people want to read it. And um, it's it's not someone who hasn't got any idea whatsoever. You know, some of it is, is common sense, but yes. it definitely, you know, there is um, some very specific stuff in there where you go, OK, this guy or this this lady knows what what he or she is talking about. Now. I would like to make a point that if you know nothing about the topic you're choosing, you're going to have a hard time doing this. But I'm assuming that most of you will want to build sites in topics and, and niches that you're interested in. Uh, because if you have a passion for that or an interest in it, it's easier to do the work, right? That's fair enough. Uh, and for you, Michael, as you said earlier, the videos were really easy for you to do because you love doing it and it's exercise and explaining how to do the exercises safely. But the techie side of building the site wasn't fun. So yeah. the content, the bit that really counts, was easy for you because mm. you know about it already. So I'm just going to update that quickly um, and we'll view the post again. Is anybody not following what I'm saying here about looking at the principle of the structure? Because when we've got a site like this, and this is a ready-made one which, you know, other people would have identical sites. You can change it to any niche. If somebody has a really weird niche that you want me to try and change it to, I'll show you that uh, just to prove the point, but we will move on in a moment or two. So if anybody has a really weird niche and wants to try and um, see if they can catch me out, that would be <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> so um, the images and so on, you know, this one, for example, I would go look at, well, in fact, let's do it. Uh, let me just open up another website. So pexels.com, and I can get some free images here. So I would look for um, exercise or maybe gym or barbells. There we go. There's one. Look at that. Ah, this one, even better. So let's just 300. I'm going to do this live, by the way, just to show you how easy this is. It's a free image. Save file. OK, where's it going to save it? I don't know where it saved it, but we'll see. So on my um, image here, I'm going to edit post. Scroll down. Where is it? Where's the image? There we go. Uh, let's have a look. Image details, 300. Yeah, it was 300 pixels, so that's good. So let me just get rid of it. Um, and we'll put an image in where add media, select files. Uh, downloads, yeah, that one, there we go. So I guessed the right size, that was fine, but you know, if you're not sure, you can always check on the original image and see. So now, let's just have a look at that. And again, that's what, 20 seconds? That looks a bit more like a, an exercise site now, doesn't it? <clears throat> okay, got some examples here, Ken, hypnosis. Right, okay. Excuse me, I'm going to take a glass of water because um, my throat's dry. Hypnosis. <clears throat> well, I'm going to assume that you've got a, a product related to hypnosis. It might be um, MP3s to help people go to sleep or lose weight or whatever, or it might be an ebook. So we're selling something online. Let's do it that way. Edit post. So I'm going to change this now. Okay. Online hypnosis lessons right are an affordable way to what well it depends on what you're wanting to do with the hypnosis are an affordable way to make lasting changes in your life that's a massively long title right 
So if I wanted to change that, and remember this little trick we talked about where we edit the page name, online hypnosis. Okay, we save that, update it. I'm gonna show you the post and we'll do a little bit of the first paragraph. Online hypnosis sessions are an affordable way to make lasting changes in your life. Um, okay, I've got another one from Johan, which we'll do in a moment. <laughs> that really is unusual. Um, so. I'll just take a couple of seconds. Um, and I know, Michael, you're, you, you've got some experience in uh, hypnosis, I think, as well. So that headline, it's a long headline, the point about making lasting changes in your life, would that, does that kind of resonate with the whole thing about hypnosis? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that, yeah. that's why people um, want to do it. Yeah. So um, online exercise courses, what I would say for that, you see, um, because oh, keep, I hate this new editor, you know, uh, a wonderful way. So let's just have a look. I'm going to do this. I'm going to change it. Something, something is a wonderful way. Hypnosis is a powerful way to change something, right? To change your life for the better. <clears throat> you remember I said earlier on we do the elevator pitch very early on in the paragraph to give people a sense of what we're offering them and give them some kind of uh, hook to get them, well, tell me more, tell me more. Well, that's what I'm doing here, right? So let's have a look at this. Of course, finding a practitioner can be expensive and it can be time consuming, but keep reading, okay? So there's a hook. Right. And then the next bit is let's have a look. So home decor can make your home look absolutely beautiful. OK, the right hypnosis techniques can allow you to make positive changes in the comfort of your own home. I can't type, but I hope you're going to give me a pass for that because it's difficult to talk and type at the same time. So what I want to ask, and Ken, you were um, giving me this suggestion. What I've done so far, rather than have you watch me type for an hour, does that prove the point that we can turn rustic country living into a hypnosis site? Yes or no? Absolutely. And I'm just looking if we've got any others. So um, Johan's talking about... Um, wood chopping technique. Well, okay. Well, well, I'll yeah, I'll have a, I'll try in a moment, Johan. Uh, James is saying it looks like curation to me. Uh, what are you missing? Well, I'm not sure what you mean by curation there, uh, James, because what I'm doing is taking a ready-made site which I installed. So I think you might have missed that part, um, and then I'm changing the content that's there to match the topic I want on my website, and I'm using the structure of the articles that are already there to guide me to making those changes so that I don't have to stare at a blank page and have no idea what to put next. So I'm just using the structure. So if you were to go to writer's school, creative writing, they would give you a structure to follow, you know, the, you know, the start, middle and end and so on, the hero's journey, the, um, in the what's the phrase, the um, initiating incident, or I can't remember, but they give you a structure to follow so that you don't have a blank page and don't know where to start. So in terms of curation, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, James, because um, I'm not taking content from elsewhere there. I'm making that up as I go along. I'm writing it myself there. So curation means something slightly different, but, but I'm not sure how you're meaning it. So if you could clarify for me. So Johan, wood chopping technique. Um, I know nothing about it, so that's gonna be harder. But I assume that the type of equipment you use would make a difference the type of wood that you're chopping would make a difference. Uh, the amount that you have to chop would make a difference. Where you buy the equipment would make a difference. Uh, and all I'm doing, by the way, is thinking while I'm talking. So let's have a look. Online wood chopping equipment allows you to buy the best for maximum efficiency. Oh, I can't type. Forgive me. I'm not going to pretend I can type while I'm talking. But you get the point, hopefully. All right. That's now talking about wood chopping. Then the first paragraph. Let's have a look. 
Hypnosis is a powerful technique. Uh, okay, change your life for the better. It can be expensive, time consuming. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna read this instead of type it. So I would change that first paragraph to say something like, using the right tools will simplify your task in chopping wood because the right tool for the right job at the right time will save you time and effort. And over the long run, it will also save you money, so it becomes less expensive. But keep reading, we'll give you some more recommendations. The right wood chopping techniques will depend on the type of wood that you're going to be um, working with, whether it's a softwood or a hardwood, how late in the season it may be, and indeed the quantity that you need to prepare. So when you're buying equipment, it pays to study the online sales uh, in your region to find the equipment that is most effective for the type of wood and the type of quantity that you will need and then choose something that is suitable for that particular task. It's a false economy to choose something that is cheap because it will mean you have to work harder, you'll have to replace it more frequently and you simply won't produce as much, uh, you won't produce as much output as you might wish. Is that okay? Does that, does that do the job? Yeah, James, it is. It's exactly changing and repurposing existing content to adapt to any other purpose. The reason I was showing this um, is, is to kind of prove the point that you can take an existing site and change it to anything else you want. Now, we have gone over the hour. We're going to keep going because I've, I've got more to, to share with you. But Michael took this ready-made site and he turned it into this site, which is the living, living funeral process. He's changed the post, he's added some uh, videos that he's found on YouTube, you can do a search on YouTube of course, find tons of videos about topics that are related. They don't have to be exactly the same, they don't have to be about uh, funeral, living funeral. And he's got his new home page here, but it's essentially the same website. Look, home, FAQ, book now, about, contact us, disclaimer, almost the same, home, about, contact us, privacy, terms of use, medical disclaimer. He's added a, a book now, which is, you know, a payment uh, button, I think. It's just loading up. So, Michael, when you started with the eco-anxiety cure and then modified it for your specific, which is a very unusual one, as, as people are saying, what was the difference compared to your original muscle for men over 50 site in terms of the process for you oh worlds apart it was um super easy um and very fast um i used a lot of the other uh, templates you know for instance the privacy terms of use the kind of stuff that you need to have uh, for google to be happy about um and so uh, just uh, copy pasted changed um a couple of the you know, the website address, that kind of thing. So, yeah. you know, all of this kind of stuff that that, that is all time consuming, uh, yes. it was all done. And then um, I just um, started uh, adding, uh, replacing uh, content, um, replacing the categories, replacing the tags, which didn't really take all that long. So this kind of background techie stuff um, didn't take that long. and um it it can probably if you have a have a uninterrupted day you can do it in under a day but it, it really just doesn't take take that long and if you already have some articles or content that you've prepared then you just replace uh the old content with the new and and you're done yeah and actually you've this one time. here that that's that's curation what you're showing yes. there because I'm yep. using a, um, a YouTube video and then I say this YouTube video, blah, blah, blah. And I also say it's three, three minutes because people usually don't have much time. Yeah. So. Excellent. And that's a good thing to do, you know, to add extra content that way. But you said it take, you know, you could probably do it in a day. Uh, I'm going to make you an offer at the end of the webinar where you can do it in a couple of minutes and just a couple of clicks and you can get a, a unique website built for you in the exact niche that you want. So, Michael, let's just talk about this particular website right now. We've, we've, we've shown that you can take an existing ready-made site and modify it. We've looked at um, the Rustic Deco one. You've got the Eco Living one, which you've modified for the living funeral process. What's your longer term aim with this? Because I know you, you're 
getting people to book and come for the actual experience so they have to attend um, which is fine but you have wider plans for that so one of the things you, were, you weren't sure about was on the home page whether to change one of the things um, about the, the process itself which is you know that it's a single person doing it what's your longer term aim with this particular website there are two things um, that um, I'd like to achieve with it. Uh, the first one is that I want to open this up to a scenario whereby I offer this to more than one person. So there is um, small groups of maybe up to 10, 12, 13 people doing it because it would allow more of this group dynamic um, and uh, shared experience um, uh, to be um happening which i think can be uh, very very powerful um, and the other side of it is that because i have firsthand seen the transformation in the um, volunteers that went through the program already um, i would love to be able to roll this out um, to a much wider audience and find a way of actually um, have this um, franchised out for want of a better uh, word um, and make it available potentially uh, online um, to a much wider worldwide audience um, but also there could be a possibility for people who are in the transformation field already for instance you know life coaches um, yes uh, would be in uh, counselors, uh, people that help people find their true meaning in life already to use uh, this uh, quite powerful process um, as a way of helping their clients um, to go through this process and um, utilize all of the, the, the tools that, that uh, go with it. So um, those are the two ways, um, you know, locally doing it physically with, with groups and internationally being able to potentially offer an online version or a collaboration on how this works yeah now the interesting thing about what you've said there is that whatever the topic may be yours is very particular whatever it may be there are often further opportunities if you kind of think oh, i'm sorry if you think outside the box there are further opportunities I knew there were going to be some jokes about boxes <laughs> it, it was unintentional i promise but if you sort of expand your thinking about where this might be placed, and all of you on the audience, please, this is the same thing we're talking about with ready-made sites. You may be able to offer it to other people who do not have the facility to develop the same thing. So if you've got a website, for example, that is dealing with this topic, other people may be interested in it, but may not have the desire or the ability to build a website around it. So one of the things I think Michael was considering in the future is having a sort of an affiliate possibility where he licenses a website like this to people um, and then allows them to sort of sell the process for commission and so on and many people wouldn't have the ability to create this themselves or even understand the process sufficiently to explain it on the website so opportunity through life coaches that's a great example you gave there michael this is something they could add to their portfolio is there any business really and I mean this seriously, that would not accept the opportunity to expand their business and add to their portfolio of offerings. Because, you know, if a, a hair salon can suddenly put in a nail bar or whatever they're called and make more money, why wouldn't they? You know, in fact, one of the things <laughs> even recently was, um, I don't quite know why it's a thing, but apparently it's a thing, so I'm told, where a coffee bar also has a barber's. And, you know, you can have a coffee while somebody's having his hair cut. It seems weird to me. But if you expand your offering, you can make more money. And businesses generally will be looking for doing that. So um, I'll, I'll make a point about this image in a second, Michael. But um, that expansion of what you're offering is where your real money will be made. Because when you roll this out, and whether you license it or franchise it or whatever you do, then you know you're you're multiplying your reach you can only do so much yourself i don't know whether you know the, the people who are working with you can do 
you know, five groups a week or 10 groups a week, but they're never going to do a thousand. And yeah. so by being able to have this licensed around the world or, or franchised around the world, um, effectively, you know, you can multiply your own efforts by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Well, in reality, it's unlimited potentially. So it, it's a great way to expand what you do, even if you only have. Uh, and I think it was. Let me just see. Was it Manuel? Just bear with me. Yeah, Manuel was asking about training videos uh, in Tai Chi. Even if you only have videos rather than an actual process where people come to your um, premises, you can still expand that. So we were talking about hypnosis earlier. Ken was asking about that. If you have a hypnosis website and there's online hypnosis for weight loss or anxiety or whatever it may be, there's no reason you can't reach out to life coaches who could be anywhere in the world and see whether they would like to license your product. In effect, what you're saying is, you know, you sell it and I'll give you X, X percentage if you sell it. And they will reach people you could never reach. You might also um, offer the same thing to normal affiliates, but you could offer it to people who are already within the industry. So life coaches, for example, would very generally be looking for more products that can help their particular clients. Why wouldn't they? If they can help their client and make some money at the same time, yeah, win-win for everybody. So expanding your reach is something you can do once you have a website with good content on it. But creating that content is the problem we've been talking about so far. Now, just before I talk about even better websites than Hot Niche Packs, I just want to mention something here because I saw this other, uh, where was it? Oh, I haven't got it open, but there was another website you showed me where they have groups who do this experience. Uh, and They just place like a cloth over them instead of putting them in a casket. And there were several pictures on that website which were horrendous um, because they looked funereal, for one thing. They, they didn't look hopeful and positive. But also everybody was facing the wrong way. And one point I would make for this, Michael, this is disengaging. We're looking at somebody from behind. I can't see Maria's face. I can't see whether she looks joyful or terrified or whatever it may be. Um, personally, I think you would have a stronger image here if you'd been positioned where my mouse is now, looking up at her face, writing. And you'd be able to see the expression. It might be concentration. It might be joy. It might be contemplation. I don't know what she was doing there. But I'd be able to engage with her as a person when I'm looking at that. And if you think about adverts for a moment, and this is nothing to do with how you build your site, by the way. Um, but if you think about adverts for a moment, they show you people with the emotion they want you to have when you've paid the money for their product, right? Does that make sense to everybody? So if they show you somebody who has a headache, they take the anodine, the aspirin, whatever it, whatever tablet is, Advil, whatever, and then you see, you know, the sun comes out, the person's smiling, they're walking fast, uh, you know, nice music plays and so on. That's the experience we want the customer to have, and they kind of uh, take that on board when they watch this. They're not even aware of that, but they 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 want what they see. Um, if you buy a particular hair conditioner, you're suddenly going to be super slim, model attractive, and you know, out in the rainforest, bathing in a pool of water with you know all the wildlife around you. But that's the kind of aspiration that people have. So in a sense, what we need to do is sell them the sizzle. And you can do that, I think, more effectively. Now, hopefully this is making sense for everybody by showing if if your participant is willing by showing something of the experience that they've had. For the emotion that you want to put across to your potential buyers. And if the experience is one of serenity, you want this person, Maria, looking serene. If it's one of <clears throat> excuse me, joy, you want her to look happy, big smile or whatever. Uh, if it's one of contemplation and thinking, you know, which in one part of the website, you may want that. You'd show that. So you might take several pictures here. Just come back to me on that one, Michael, because I'd, I'd love to know your thinking on that. I'm just going to take a yeah. sip of water. Uh, there are um, a couple of comments. Mm -hmm. uh, if you scroll down a little bit on that page, you okay. have what you're looking for. So this this person here was very happy to cool. have uh, himself, um, you know, uh, face on, and he was 
Um, there's a couple of other ones which I haven't put up of him um, and where I also have a similar one where he's actually doing the exercise and he's writing and he looks very happy. Um, okay. She, the, the lady Maria, uh, was very specific about okay. uh, her face not showing because of yep. her professional position. Um, yep. And she said, I'm happy to give you a testimonial if you only use my first name. And I'm happy for a photo, but you can't show my face. So that, I take your point, and you're 100% uh, sure. But sometimes with testimonials, you you have to go with what what the person says. Yeah. Yeah, of course. No, that's mm. fine. And I, I did wonder mm. about that. But um, generally speaking, and the other thing I'm trying to do right now, if if I can, <laughs> which just for the fun of it, because I like doing these things, you know, um, I'm trying to find where the images that I've downloaded. I may not be able to do that. I'm trying to show you what I would do with this image because, yeah, I've got him. Um, just one second. You need to make as much impact as you can. And so what I'm going to do is copy your image over into an editor. And I'm going to modify it. You see, your bookcase there doesn't add anything. The base of the casket doesn't really add much. What I want is his face and the certificate of achievement. Now, that I can see is a smiling face. Can you see the difference? Oh, yeah. The The impact mm -hmm. is significantly more. Now, everybody, I want to make um, a little point about this. Uh, I'm being told off that I haven't made the offer. Sorry, James, I'll, I'll <laughs> come to that in a second. Uh, do you know, this is interesting. This, let me just explain something here. People tell me off every time we do a webinar for not giving them the offer, <laughs> even though we're doing the training. I will come to the offer in a couple of minutes, I promise. This is significantly more um, impactful, I think, I'll get rid of it now anyway, than, than this, because it focuses on the bit that counts. It's his face and his certificate. You know, the, the bookcase and so on, that's fine. But is this what is this the experience we're selling? This face right here, he's, he's smiling. In fact, it's a very serene face, is the particular experience that we're selling. Yes? Absolutely. If I come out of that experience looking like that, I'm a happy man. So, you know, I take your point about Maria, that's fine. Um, and if you do, if you're not allowed to use a face, then, you know, um, th that that's absolutely fine. Um, this one, he's happy for you to use his face that way. So let's 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 magnify the impact of what we're saying to people so they get it without having to think too much about it. So now let me just have a look um, because I'm going to show you the offer. So here's how you can have your own site in just a few clicks. So I'm going to go through this with you because if you want a unique site to start with, where you've just done a couple of clicks and it takes you five minutes, what you can do is buy a NicheJet Authority site. Now, the regular price is 397 These sites have made literally well over $100,000 for us in AdSense, and some of the other people who've bought them have made tens of thousands of dollars as well. I'm not going to guarantee that for you because it depends on other things you do, but they make a lot of money. You get five unique articles, you get a custom header graphic, a premium theme, and then your choice of niche. Now look, you know, obvious things we're not gonna do. We're not doing anything adult if it's hate-filled, you know, if it's illegal, no. So there may be some that we would have to say no to, but all the normal topics we can do. We create a, fan book, uh, a Facebook fan page, and at the moment, until Sunday, you can save $100 and you get it for 297. So to get the discount of the checkout, there's a code which is build my sites, no spaces. And what you have to do, it's important when you get to the checkout, in the coupon code, as you can see there, there's a little box. You put in build my sites, no spaces. And then you click that little blue arrow you can see just at the end there on the right hand side. That will apply the discount for you and the price comes down to 297. Please don't forget to do that because then you pay the full price. Make sure to put the correct email address in this box because that's how we will contact you. <laughs> we know that sometimes people actually type their email address wrong, surprisingly. So please put the correct one so we can contact you. At the end of it, you'll be given a page. But if you don't see the page, don't worry, you'll get a welcome email 
to the email you've just given us. And you'll see something like this where you give us an email address to contact you. You tell us about your site, what keywords you'd like. We can choose a niche for you if you want, but it's better if you choose your own. And you can see that there's some uh, boxes here where you give us the specific keyword that you would want. So muscle building, gym exercises, uh, online exercise course, that kind of thing, depending on what you, yeah, you, what you want for your particular niche. And then when you click on start building my site, that will go through to our site builders and they will literally start building the site for you. They will buy a domain, they'll create the content, they'll install the blog and so on. But please, you've got to give us the right hosting login details because if you don't, we, we can't log in and build it, obviously. So the bespoke site build offer, remember the regular price will be 397, but you're getting £100 off just for now until midnight on Sunday. And that's midnight in New York, that's Eastern Standard Time. That would be 5 a.m. Monday morning in the UK. But once that clock ticks around, the price goes back to normal. So you get all these items that you're seeing here, five unique articles, custom header graphics, premium theme. Your posts will have um, images in them and some of them will have YouTube videos. You can choose your own niche, but please don't choose anything objectionable. <laughs> and we'll make a Facebook fan page for you as well. You will need a code. The code is build my sites and you put that in the checkout. The checkout is at nichejet.com slash authority dash site. And I will give you that in the chat box in a moment. Let me just see. I've got a couple of questions. Um, okay. How many sites can you buy? Uh, it's a good question, Manuel. You can buy as many as you like, but there's two points. The first is you have to buy them one at a time because the button only allows you to buy one at a time. The second is, and I think April was asking this earlier, can you save them for later? Yes, but not for too long. You can't, don't save it for six months. If you wanted to wait a couple of weeks to decide on your niche, that's fine. But if you wait too long, it's, it's a bit difficult for us, really. We need to be able to uh, work out how many people need a site built and then sort out the timetable for them to be built. So let's have a look. Um, how many days for the special? Midnight on Sunday, Manuel this offer is going away. So this is what the page looks like and you can see there's a timer. So, you know, do that before the timer runs out. When you click on order now up in the top right hand side or you scroll down, you'll come down to the purchase button here and you click order now. This coupon code, please remember to put the code in here and then click on this blue arrow. And what it will do is drop your price down for you. Make sure you see this here before you pay. Make sure you see 297. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? Because we know sometimes people forget to apply the coupon and then they don't notice that they're being charged full, full price. Uh, I've got a few more questions, so let's have a look. Uh, yes, I've got a few people asking if there's going to be a replay. Yes, there will be. This will go out very early tomorrow morning. Um, as soon as I've got that ready to go out, I'll upload a page. You'll be able to watch the things I've shown you as many times as you want to. So, yes, don't worry. If you missed anything, there will be a replay. Um, and Manuel's asking, yes, just to confirm, it is Sunday at midnight. That's Eastern Standard Time. So when it hits midnight in New York, the offer is taken off the table. You will be paying $397 again. Um, and Manuel's asking, um, yeah, um, we're, we're not offering a split pay on this, Manuel, I'm afraid it's uh, a single payment. So at this point, what I would like to do, I'll show you those pages again in a moment. What I would like to ask is if we have any questions. Anybody got any questions? Because uh, I'll answer them now for you. And I'm just checking, see if I've missed any. Uh, okay. Now, Meg's uh, general story is making a point, Michael, and I don't know if you've already done this, but she's suggesting that you may need to copyright this process before you share it with professionals who may simply steal it from you. Have you given any thought to how you will protect your intellectual property? Um, yeah, it's a difficult one because on the one hand, yeah, it makes sense to copyright it. Uh, and there's, you know, quite a convoluted process to go through through all of this and let's not forget some of these things that I've incorporated into my course um, are things that I have 
um, used and adjusted and um, upgraded from other bits and pieces that are out there in the self-help uh, world. Sure. Um, there is always the the issue of um, is someone going to steal your content or are they going to steal the whole course? And yeah. um, that that danger is 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 there anyway, even if it's copyrighted. Uh, you know, you you may have a situation where someone just does it and says, "Well, sue me," you know, and then you <laughs> get into this whole ball game. Um, so this is a really uh, difficult one, um, and quite honestly, I haven't um, I haven't really come up with a with a good, straightforward, and easy answer to it because you see this this is not the fun the fun stuff the fun yeah. stuff is helping people doing it this the legal stuff this is the headache stuff that a guy like me just doesn't want to deal with if i'm completely honest with but i know in yeah. some way uh, i need to kind of address it so i appreciate the comment and um it sort of yeah has reminded me that i probably need to be thinking about it what's your take on yeah. that amen well, honestly, I wouldn't bother. And I'll tell you why. Worldwide, once people see this, you're not really going to be able, or certainly it's not particularly practical, to chase down anybody who copies this. Because the cost of doing it, and the time it would take you, and the likelihood of retrieving any compensation is relatively small. If I were going to be spending weeks and weeks, or maybe months, or in some cases years, chasing somebody like that, I would sooner spend that time, effort, and, and energy, and perhaps money, on improving the traffic to my website. Because the real likelihood is, somebody in, um, I'm trying to think of a place, I don't know, somewhere in, you know, Saskatchewan in Canada or wherever, Who's doing this is unlikely to be taking content. Uh, sorry, unlikely, unlikely to be taking customers away from you in New Zealand. Now I know the the digital one is slightly different, but the the likelihood of you getting that same traffic is quite slim. And so, in a sense, if you like, the real damage to you is relatively minor, and the amount of time you could spend chasing this down could be disproportionate to the slim. Uh, loss that you might suffer. Does that make sense? Um, because <clears throat> energy and time is limited. And so if you're going to spend it, I would spend it on building the business rather than trying to build a fort around it and keeping people away. So and that would be my take on it personally. Yeah, there is another aspect of it, and that depends very much to what kind of philosophy you subscribe to. And yes. um, it's a aspect of what kind of energy am I spending my time in um, a helping yeah. energy a positive energy or um, a reactive energy and thinking about the worst case scenario and getting lawyers involved typing up all sorts of stuff and I simply don't want to be in that space and if someone thinks they can do it better hey be my guest I know my product and I know what I can do for people and yeah. It's the only thing that counts for me. I'm going to answer question of uh, Martin's question in a moment, but uh, we'll, so we'll come to that in a second, Martin. You know what? There are major Hollywood players who have very, very substantial funds behind them who don't chase down copyright infringement. There are films which are made which are straight copies of each other, and they come out within months of each other. And, and you know, you wonder how these... They haven't just come out of thin air. Somebody's heard something somewhere. I'm thinking of Atlantic Rim and Pacific Rim, for example, which were straight copies of each other, or one was a copy of the other, and nobody does anything about it. I think the point you make about the energy you put out into the world is a good one, and in your particular case, you're trying to help people. Energy that you spend building up your reputation and your traffic and your your tribe, as it were, that some people use that term, um, would have a direct positive result. If you spend your time chasing somebody down, the best you can get really is to undo any damage they might have done. 
and I, I would wonder, I mean, a lot, a lot of people here are saying you should definitely do something to protect it, um, but I do wonder how likely it is. Um, and also take into account that you didn't invent this process. What you would have to do uh, is, is copyright the bits that are unique to you. There are people who will come to you because it's you rather than somebody else. You know, fakes, well, they're, they're never as good, are they? Um, you know, and, and the authentic process that you would show on your website and by your actions, I think, would attract those people who would be likely to be your customers anyway. But this is getting to a, a totally different topic, I think, and, and it's one that each person will have to decide for themselves. So we had a question earlier, I think it was Manuel, uh, who was saying, is it only one site for $297? Yes, it is. But what I've shown you earlier in this webinar is that you can take any site and turn it into something else. Now, when you've bought a niche jet authority site, you own the domain, you own the content, you own the entire thing. If you choose to replicate it, and cloning takes a couple of minutes, by the way, and put it onto a new domain and change the articles a little bit, so now you've got two websites, you can do that. To change the articles, those five articles, wouldn't take long. Uh, you'd get quicker the more you do it, of course, but it wouldn't take long. Probably take me, I don't know, an hour, two hours. That's for an entire site. If you want to clone that second site onto a third topic, and the topic can be somewhat related if you want it to be, so you have a whole bunch of sub-niche sites, doesn't have to be different topics, you're allowed to do that. You can clone your niche authority sites as many times as you like, right? If you wanted to, and this is something people never seem to think about, you can add a little bit to it, maybe tweak it a little bit, and if you wanted to sell that on as a cloned PLR site to 20 people, it's your site. You can do what you like with it. Can you see some possibilities here? So although it sounds like one site, 297, well, it's an extremely good price, by the way. And just so you know, um, I think we should be charging more for that. But every time I say that to Josh and John, they say, no, we, we need to stick at 397 for the time being. So you can buy a single authority site and clone it as many times as you like. You can even package it up and sell it to other people if you wish to. Now, if you want to buy half a dozen of them, that's fine as well. But, you know, there's so many different things you can do with these sites. Uh, Michael, just out of interest, did you, were you aware of that? Because you bought, I think, you bought niche jet sites in the past, haven't you? Yeah, this is an interesting one because uh, that's not really something um, that we thought about uh, uh, talking about, but uh, I actually wanted to mention this. I mm. have used a um, previous uh, one which looks a bit different, uh, and yeah. I've built two or three sites from that promoting various books and various niches. Um, yeah. And this was a completely unrelated site, but I liked the look of it. And I just changed a few things and added some articles and um, you know, images of the books on Amazon and bang. And then I'll basically clone that and the next one. So, you know, I, I bought one one template site, so to speak, and then I'll just yes. kept on using it. Um, and there is actually another one, which is the same design as the funeral process or eco-anxiety cure, because I like the look of it. And there yes. is another one I'm building at the moment. Um, and if I can just uh, digress for a very brief moment here and, and make a point, um, you know, if you've if you've had an idea and if you've had content um, and it's been sitting there on your on your PC or server for a while and you yeah, one day, one day I'm going to do this. Um, <laughs> yeah, there is actually uh, no better time than right now to do this. And without addressing the elephant in the room too much. Uh, the likelihood of pretty much everyone on this uh, webinar um, being confined to being at home for several weeks is pretty high. Yes. So yeah. um, you can do that watching Netflix and you can do all sorts of things. But I mean, you've got a unique opportunity. You know, they always say every problem is an opportunity in disguise. Well, if you have time on your hands, what, what, what other time will you do it? But now where you may be twiddling your thumbs or you're thinking, oh, I'm bored. Hey. You know, you could could use the next few weeks uh, building several sites um, 
and finally, you know, do this project or, or bring this thing to, to fruition that you always thought about with the proviso, when I have more time, I'm going to do that. There is no better time than now. And um, yeah, I probably sound like a self-help guru, but I, I truly believe, well, you know, we have yeah. all these hours at, at hand every day. Um, you know, you the sky's the limit now. You, you, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll stop here. <laughs> no, no, that's a good point. And actually, it's kind of the same point with your um, living funeral experience. You know, what better time is there to do that than now? Why would you wait until you're, you know, in ill health and, you know, you don't know how long you've got left to make the most of your life? There's no better time. You will never have more time. Write this down, Michael. You will <laughs> oh, oh, you can have it on the replay. You will never have more time left in your life than you have today correct never right you will never have more time left in your life than you have today so today is the perfect day to make the most of your life it, it really is waiting for tomorrow you've just thrown away today you wait for tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and you turn around and the years gone by and two years gone by and I know that people who are on these webinars want to make money online. They want a website that does that. But getting started is the hardest thing. I told Michael something earlier, which I've always found it difficult to believe. But because I speak to people, I get emails and I've also had some, some people I've had phone calls with, Skype sessions, that kind of a thing. I know that we've had in our subscriber group some people who have been buying products from us and coming to webinars and training webinars and have never built a single site. And some of them have been doing that for three, four, and five years. Now, just think about that. There are people who have been trying to build a website for literally years and have never got round to it for one reason or another. Getting started, I know it's difficult. And that's why we're finding ways to help you get started. So a ready-made site that is built for you with unique content, and I was asked earlier how much content. You get five unique articles, which is plenty to get you started. I was asked, can you add content to the site? A niche jet authority site is entirely your site. You can do anything you want to it or with it. If you want to add some content, you can do that. If you want to change the content, you can do that. If you want to put AdSense on it and you're approved for AdSense, no problem. If you want to do the Amazon affiliate program, fine. If you want to do ClickBank, fine. If you want to make your own product, fine. You get to choose. When the site is built, uh, you get, and it has to be on your hosting, by the way, you get to choose what you do with it, whether you expand it or leave it as it is, clone it, whatever it may be. It is literally entirely yours. Now, the offer does end at midnight on Sunday. That's Eastern Standard Time. So Sunday is the April 5th, April the 5th. And when you go to the checkout page, you will need the code build my sites. That's all one word, no spaces. Uh, and I'll just show you if I may. There we go, niche jet authority site. I've put that in the link. I'm going to show you on this screen in a moment. And I've got a couple of questions. Let's have a look. Uh, a few people are saying yes. Yeah, you've been um, stuck in the house. Yeah. Uh, how many words in each art article? It's averaging about five, six hundred. Um, um, for each article. And I've got another question here from Milton, which is a good one. Can you use an alternative to Google AdSense? Thank you for asking that. I forgot to mention it. It's a good point. Right, let's just go back. So, um, where's the blog? Let's have a look. I'll just update this and we'll view the post. Now, what you can have on here, if you get approved for AdSense, you can put AdSense ads. No problem. If you've got an Amazon Associates account, you can put Amazon ads. No problem. ClickBank, JVZoo, Warrior Plus, you can put adverts from there on here if you wish to. You can also put your own products. As long as the items that you are promoting have some reference to your topic, then people who are reading this, if they're enjoying the content, when they get to see an advert, I haven't got any on here because I've only just installed it. When they see an advert, are more likely to click, aren't they? So good quality content can drive clicks to whatever advertising platform you use. And there's quite a lot of them. Um, so ClickBank, JVZoo, Amazon Associates, 
AdSense, those are kind of the big ones, but there are others as well. Individual product manufacturers may have um, an affiliate program. And if you do a search for a particular product and then plus affiliate program, if they have it, you'll see the search come up and you can have a look at what terms and conditions are. And then you can apply to them and, and see. Uh, the main thing really with any kind of advertising is to make sure it's a good match for the kind of person coming to your website. And the kind of person who comes to your website will depend on the content and the particular angle you're approaching. So, Michael, if we can go back to your example, which was here. Um, I don't think I'd do well with uh, a teenage workout book on this particular website, would I? Because anybody who finds this website is going to be a man who's likely to be over 50. So, yep. you know, or a pregnant teen workout. It's, it just doesn't make any sense. Your particular topic here, well, I know you sold the site anyway. This particular topic is so specific that I know the people who are coming here are likely to be men Middle-aged men, some might be 47, yes, yeah, some might be 67, but they're not going to be 22, probably. So we know the kind of audience we have here. Does that make sense to everybody? So what I would do is focus on adverts that relate to somebody of that age. And there's all kinds of things about men over 50. You know, um, if you're wanting to build muscle, is it for health or is it for the aesthetics? Do you want to look better? Uh, and you might even have a section for that about looking better as you get older. And you could talk about hair restoration. You could talk about skin care and all kinds of things that men really do care about, but don't often tell people. Uh, and people of 50 or 60 have issues that they want to deal with. You know, there may be uh, skin markings that they want to try and remove. They may have um, self-esteem issues if they're balding and that kind of thing. All kinds of possibilities because we know that somebody who's trying to improve themselves is trying to improve themselves. And therefore, all the things that relate to improvement may be of interest to them. So this is kind of sub-niche, does that make sense? Uh, I'm just checking questions in case I've missed anything. If I have missed a question, please repeat it, because I'm just seeing. Um, yeah, Milton's saying he's been banned from AdSense. So if you, you can't automatically get an AdSense account just because you get one of these sites. If you ban, the chances are you probably won't get AdSense again, but there are lots of other opportunities. And the main thing, as I've just said, is target it to the kind of visitor you get because they're going to be more interested in those products that you promote if you do that. So I wouldn't be doing, uh, <laughs> let me give you a silly example. If you put, um, you know, makeup on here, how many men over 50 trying to build muscles are really likely to be interested in makeup? Not very many, cosmetics, you know. There might be a couple, but the vast majority won't be. So it wouldn't be a topic that makes sense here. Um, Amazon Associate products for home equipment, barbells, uh, dumbbells, uh, easy co bars, that kind of a thing. That would be absolutely something of interest. Because some of these men, let's say we've got a man who's uh, 58, got a bit of a belly, he wants to lose weight, but he doesn't really like the idea of going to a gym and, and seeing all those ripped guys who've got muscles like, you know, popping out all over. He might prefer to work at home. Absolutely, that would make sense with this particular topic. So there are lots of advertising opportunities. And you could think about having a product made, a report uh, that you can add on here. So it's an advert for your own product. You know, you, you can rethink what advertising means. If advertising would work for Google and Amazon on your website, it could work for you if you have a product created that is of interest to your visitors. Just let that sink in because I know a lot of people don't realize that when they're talking about affiliate income. Michael, is that um, when you created your product here, had you considered affiliate advertising first or did you jump straight in with creating your product? I just jumped straight into creating my own product. Uh, I think that's probably quite normal. You get so engrossed, you get tunnel vision. That's all you think about. At least that's yeah. that's how it works for me. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, opportunities for advertising, there's a lot of them. Let me just show you the web page again. So I've put it in the chat box. If you're watching on the replay, the button will be below. So don't worry about the um, the chat box if you're on the replay. So you go to nichedebt.com forward slash authority dash site. 
dash. And then you can see the timer down here is the button. Click on order now. Please, whatever you do, please put in the coupon code build my sites, no spaces, one word. And then please, please, please click on this button to get your $100 discount. And you'll see confirmation here and then you can complete the order form so any other questions before we continue because i want to make sure everybody gets a chance to ask any questions they may have uh, i'm just scrolling back in case i've missed any can we add more content we've done yes you can uh, manuel's asking can we trans um, that, that wouldn't really make sense manuel actually but if you want to ask me separately later via email you can do that um, can we add more content? Yes. Okay. I think I've got most of the questions. Michael, from your point of view, we've discussed your site a little bit. Are there any questions you have for me that I can answer? Anything you wanted to look at? And it might be useful for the audience to give them some ideas of how to optimize something once they have it made. Probably most uh, on the home page to really, um, you know, fine tune it a little bit more. I mean, we've talked about this in detail and you add lift yep. quite a few things. Uh, it, it's probably going to be a bit boring for, for the audience to, to go through that. But um, you see, when you're doing this in your own bubble and you're, you're just writing away, you never really know. Um, how good, how persuasive, how 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 well worded um, things are. And on top of that, this is my second language, so you yes. um, have this kind of stuff to deal with as well. So it always is good when you have uh, someone, especially uh, with your experience, to look over this and say, okay, look, I will change this, I will change that. So um, yeah, it's well. Let's talk about it, and and I'd love anybody in the audience who's still with us, if you want to um, just you know. Give us your thoughts. It would be interesting for us to know. We're going to kind of analyze this page very quickly to give you some ideas. And we're going to talk in principle so that you can apply this to any topic of your own. OK, because the principles will apply no matter what the topic. So first thing I'm seeing, Michael, is a great headline here. I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself. Anybody coming here who is thinking that already, it's going to resonate with them and it's going to hit their pain point. Now, what I mean by that is, if people are looking for an improvement in some way, whether it's cosmetic surgery, mental health, uh, losing weight, whatever it may be, they currently have a pain of some kind. And this is reminding them of that pain. I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself. I haven't had the courage. I haven't lived a true life. I regret that. So it's reminding me that there are things in my life that I haven't yet addressed that I regret. So it's great. It hits the pain. When you've hit the pain point, we've got to give them a solution later. How soon depends on a lot of things. But, you know, we've got to come up with some kind of a solution. We can't just say, let me go back to adverts on TV. And you, you've probably all seen an advert of this kind of nature. Somebody's got a headache and the, the opening line is tense, nervous headache, question mark. And then they give you the solution. Now, the people who do not have a tense, nervous headache stop watching <laughs> they're not the target audience right the people who've got the tense nervous headache or get them regularly they're listening they know that oh, i've got another headache so we give them the pain point then we come next so what we've got now is this to me um this is great you know it's good information to know that you're not alone but i think it's a bit um it's a bit textbook Michael. And what I mean by that is I want to speak to a person about them. It's kind of like I'm doing to you now. I'm talking to you about your website. I'm not being abstract. I'm talking about a specific. Does that make sense for you? Yeah. So what I would say here is I, I love the headline. That's great. And then I like this. This image is fantastic. Transform, you know, the butterfly, the cocoon, the whole thing. Um, it's fantastic. And even this hand shape, which is sort of like a heart, is is great. But this bit here is like somebody in a lecture hall talking to me, like a teacher or something, or a textbook. You know, this is the, the most common regret that people facing death have told Bonnie, Bronnie Ware. Let's make it more personal. Let's pretend you're the audience who've come to this website 
and you're concerned that you haven't made the most of your life, you've got regrets, you haven't lived true to yourself, there are things you wish you'd done. I would change this statement to be something like along the lines of, you should know that you are not alone in feeling this way. So what I'm doing there, I'm giving them validation for their feelings and letting them know that they're not weird or unique. Other people feel the same way. And in many cases, just knowing that other people are the same as you is a tremendous relief, right? Is that fair so far? Mm -hmm. Now we've got um, Bronnie Ware and the palliative nurse and so on. This regret has been very common in patients who were nearing the end of their life. It's a common experience that many people face. And again, that's just kind of, you know, making it a little bit more human than, than the bare facts. Bronnie Ware, you know, you introduced a later about the book, Top Five Regrets of the Dying. But I think you've introduced her name too soon. So I would then go on to say, in a book called The Top Five Regrets of the Dying, Bronnie Ware, who has looked after many, many patients who were coming to the end of their time, found that this was the most common regret as people came to that stage of their life. Something, something like that. Okay, I'd, I'd work it a little bit better by doing it a couple of times. But essentially, I'd name the book, which it's, the, the title is, you know, it's very much on target. That title is very much on target. And then mention her, because you establish her authority by mentioning the book first. Is that making sense to everybody? By mentioning a name that nobody's heard of, who's Bronnie Ware? Like, yeah. And I'm not being funny, but there are people who wouldn't know what palliative care means. So what we're going to do is establish the authority by mentioning a book first. Automatically, somebody who has written a book has authority, right? Then I tell you her name, and now it links the two in the right sequence. So it's, it's just establishing why should I care what Bronnie Ware says? Because she's written a book. She must know something about her topic. Is that, is that clear to everybody? And the difference is subtle, but it, it does kind of throw authority onto Bronnie. I'm just checking the time. We'll nearly come up to two hours. We'll go a little bit longer because I just want to do a bit more. Um, anybody get any comments on what we've just done there and what we said? Does it make sense? Anybody disagree with what you're hearing? Please do give us some feedback so we know uh, whether this is benefiting you. Uh, and I'll wait for comments in the next second, uh, next few seconds. So that's what I would do with that, Michael, there. Um, then the next bit is getting people to think about it. Okay, how would you feel if this was your last day? Being asked many thousands of times. It's a valid question, and it can spark great insights. Hmm. I would change that entire thing here. Yeah. In making it more personal to me, I would say something along the lines of, if you truly knew that this was your last day on the planet, what are the things you wish you could have changed? It's a pretty simple question. It's not as long as that paragraph, but I think it would make people think about and reflect on their life. Um, then the final part, uh, final sentence you got there, naturally it's a very valid question. The answers that you give to that question can help you to become the person you really want to be. Because by taking action now on the insights you've just uncovered, you can shape your life the way you truly want it to be. And if you're willing to do the work that's necessary to create that change, you can experience the joy, the benefit, the you know, the the elation of being true to yourself. In this article, 
we'll explain some of the difficulties and some of the solutions to help you do that work. Something along that line. Is that how does that sound, Michael? Ah, oh, perfect. Now, Gerald's got a good point here. Thank you for that, and thanks for the comments. Anybody else comment, please do. I would love to read them. So Gerald's saying, the way I changed it makes the Mets website seem more authoritative. Now, this is the point. We, we need to establish authority first before we claim it, right? And so by mentioning the book and then mentioning Bronnie, we kind of throw this spotlight on her in a way that is is it, it uh, is convincing. If you just mention a name, it's like, well, you know, my first thing is when I read this first, time, who is Bronnie Ware? I've never heard of her. But I know that people writing books are unusual. It's not something everybody in the world can do. So somebody who has a book and gets it published must have something in them in order to do that. So it immediately throws that spotlight on her as somebody out of the ordinary, right? And then the next bit that we did was kind of pointing it more directly at the person. You see, Michael, when we've been talking, and when you talk to me, you talk very much as, as you would if we were meeting in person, and that's fine, and, and, and what you say comes across very strongly. This feels one person removed, the way it is right now. Like you're not talking to me, you're talking about the topic, but not directly to me. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely, um, yeah. It's, not, it's, it's not, not really all that engaging, yeah. Yeah, I thought that term engaging is one where it sounds very complex to be engaging. But I, I think the simple way to do it, I, I love things to be simple. I really do. Why should we make things difficult for ourselves? The simple way to do it is, the way I do it, by the way, is read it out loud and just experience how it makes you feel. Because if it doesn't connect with you, it probably won't connect with somebody else. Yeah. So if you read it out loud, and most people don't, most people don't sit and read their own content out loud because it seems weird, doesn't it? But if you do, um, let's have a look. Next one. Okay, great. Subheading. I mean, some people don't like the, the, the word, but, you know, it's, it's absolutely to the point. It's hard. Yeah, change is difficult, right? Um, and then, okay, good point here. I like this. I would change it again and make it all about you, 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 right? My site visitor only cares about themselves pretty much. And, well, family as well, but you know what I mean. They're not, they don't really care about the next site visitor. They care about them. So what most self-help gurus, let me read it, show you what, what I mean. What most self-help gurus conveniently gloss over is how incredibly hard this actually is to enable change because that doesn't sell books. Okay. Now talk to me about it. Okay, oh, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. What most self-help gurus will not tell you is just how hard this is. And they won't tell you how hard it is because it doesn't sell their books. Can you see the difference in the impact by speaking to a person more directly? So let me just check if we've got any comments because, cool, okay. So essentially what I'm saying here, I'm just, you know, we, we don't have time to go through the entire thing, I think, but um, what we're doing, and I'm not sure if your sound's gone out, Michael, but what we're doing, are you still there? Yeah, yeah. I think it's that, oh, you're, you're just checking your sound's not gone out. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is taking the same concept in these sentences and saying it to a person. If you actually think of a person while you're talking, that can often help, right? So sure, it's easy to agree that the concept makes sense and for a brief moment we can halt and imagine it on a rational conscious level. It kind of makes sense that we would reflect on our life if we knew this is the last day of our life, everyone would do that, wouldn't they? Okay, this is we and they, it's not you. So again, I would change mm. it. Look, you probably agree that this makes sense. It's probably not the first time you've heard this. You can probably imagine this in a rational moment. It probably makes sense to you that you would reflect on your life if you knew this was really the last day of your life. Why wouldn't you? But then life happens to you and your moment of reflection and pause is gone. 
your thought disappears into thin air again quickly without any further action on your part. How does that sound? Yeah, makes a completely different uh, impression on me when I hear it uh, yeah. read out like that. Yeah. yeah. And I think this you, 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 one thing to remember, you are speaking to one person at a time on your website. If you get a thousand people a day, you're still talking to one person at a time because that page is talking to the person reading it at that time. The fact that somebody in Canada is reading it as well, it's talking to them individually. And if you look at um, TV shows and so on, there are some people, presenters, who are very good at giving you the impression that they're talking directly to you. Mm. They're staring at a big camera, right? <laughs> you know, but the, you feel that they're talking to you. And they'll use phrases like you. Mm. If you've just tuned in, we, we want to welcome you and we hope you'll stick with us today because we've got some great stuff on the show for you. You're going to have a blast, right? They don't say all our viewers and things like that, yeah? Mm. Um, April is saying, I was taught to write email se sequences like you're writing to a friend. Would that also apply to articles as well? Generally speaking, yes, April. I mean, if you have a highly technical website, that may be different. Um, you know, if we look at a medical website that is for specialist medical people, that's a little bit different. But if you're talking to a real person, whether you are speaking or writing, how do you want sp people to speak to you? Do you want them to use fancy terms that you don't really quite understand and make you feel a bit foolish? Do you want them to simplify things? Do you want them to understand your needs? Do you want them to appreciate where you are in your life and reach out to help you to get to the next stage? You want them to treat you like a person, not like an open checkbook. You want them to treat you like you have some kind of value. And you can do that by respecting them in these simple ways by speaking to them. Um, so, you know, that, that one there, you see this, but then I like this because we've just put this bit, you know, yeah, it would be great, wouldn't it? And everybody would do it, that kind of thing. Uh, but then, so this, this is a good one. I like the flow there. The flow is wonderful because you've introduced here, yeah, we know that you would do it if it were that easy, but doesn't life get in the way? And of course, anybody who's coming to this website is going to say, yes, of course it does. That's why I'm here. Because if I could do all this myself, I wouldn't be seeking information on the web, would I? So we already know if they're coming on this website, they're looking for that extra information. So that, that's a really nice point there because it kind of breaks up the, the flow a little bit. Um, again, this is, we don't, you know, I'd, I'd change that. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, ah, here, look, don't blame yourself. I'm liking this. It's perfectly normal. Um, okay, let me read this. And I'll change it as, as I'm reading it. Don't blame yourself. It's perfectly normal. You shouldn't feel bad about this because we know you probably lead a super busy life like most of us. You probably have a ton of commitments. And everyone and everything in your life is probably pulling you in a thousand different directions at any given moment. So boom, boom, boom. You know, we're, we're mm. emphasizing to them. We, we understand where you are. We know what you need. Who's got the time? Do you? See, simple change mm -hmm. to that one. Makes it more powerful. Yeah. Um, reflection, no time for that. Now, here, this, this kind of thing is good. It's good. But let's flip it. Does this sound familiar? Have you ever asked, have you ever said to yourself, I don't have time for that. Maybe I can get to it later when I'm retired. Have you ever said to yourself, I can't catch up with life. I don't even have time to stop to take a deep breath. By asking that, have you ever, you make this I'm running into their internal monologue. Yeah. Which is even more powerful. The principle here, uh, by the way, everyone, is we're trying to get into the head of our likely visitor to implant the idea that we can meet their needs. Now, I'm hoping you will meet their needs with good content and good products. You know, let's not scam people. But if you have something that's worth having that will help people, so like Michael's experience here, I think you have a duty to put it across to people in the best way possible so that more of them will take you up on that beneficial offering. Because if it's beneficial, you need to get it out there to people. 
you kind of have you need some belief in your own product by the way are you noticing how i'm speaking to you i'm saying you yeah. and i'm not saying one needs to have it's recommended that in fact let me do it that way and i'll show you that so it'll be very obvious when i speak it's recommended that any products that may be on a website should really address a particular individual's needs and it's also beneficial if that website can get into the mindset of the visitor so that the visitor is more likely to purchase or click on links that's cold and you know it's it's it doesn't connect in the same way so if, now look this is good you are not alone that's great that's exactly perfect right you are not alone um yeah okay now this again i would change it a little bit there isn't any do you feel there simply isn't any time for yourself let alone time to reflect the you you really are and the what you truly want so a little change right what are we doing wrong now this is one where i probably wouldn't change it to you because i don't want to tell people that they are wrong mm. Yeah, that's important. Because that's negative, right? So I'd probably say, what are most people doing wrong? Maybe. We is okay, but most people, or a lot of people, um, let them put two and two together if they want to. But I wouldn't change that to, what are you doing wrong? Because that's a negative, and we're trying to build up this, this hopefulness that there's something positive at the end. Is that making sense to everyone? Because we want people to feel good about this, We've got to be careful not to put in negatives at the wrong time. Excuse me, just have to have a sip there. Um, this is a graphic, by the way. Mm, yep, yeah, okay. I ask myself what I'm doing, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, everybody else seems to have it figured out. Great, that's good, because that's, again, a pain point. You know, the internal monologue is, I don't have it figured out, but other people do. I want to know how to figure it out. So that's good. I like that headline. Um, yeah, so you, you can see the, the overall um, thrust of what I'm saying here with this. This is good look. Um, when your discomfort is so big, you can't. Excellent. That's exactly right. Discomfort of change. Mm, OK. I'd like that to be punchier. I want people to remember that there, there is pain and discomfort so i would sort of flip the wording around change causes discomfort you know it's it's more uh, it's a, an active voice it's more direct it's sort of a black and white fact and it's cause and effect change causes discomfort Oh, okay, so how do I deal with that? Well, you know, then let me tell you. Um, why wouldn't you, partners, friends? Yeah, 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 okay. So lots of us here, and it wants to be more yous and so on. Um, okay, that's good. So this point is a decision point. Okay, sometimes we come to a crossroad, we're not even aware, something triggers it. And then we've got a nice graphic here, because that's like a, a leap into the unknown, which is great. So you could maybe even put that. It feels like it's a leap into the unknown. Um, this one, yeah, it, it's okay. I'll, I'll probably change it a little bit, but, um, you know. Okay, thank you. I know some people are having to leave. I, I appreciate we've um, taken a lot longer than I, I told you we would, but that's usual when we're training. Um, and so we'll we'll just have a few more minutes and just continue with this very quickly just to finish off. This is great. Look, do these statements resonate with you here when you're faced with that? That's great. That's that's exactly how it needs to be, right? Yep. And people reading this will read it, you know, in their internal monologue. I want to live life to the fullest. Yes, that resonates. I want to feel valued. Yes, yeah, yeah. So that that's great. You don't need you in this case uh, because they're going to read it as if they're saying it mentally. So that's that's fine. Um, okay. Yeah. How would you go about? Okay. So this is this is 
um, you know, talking to the person directly, that's good. How would you go about finding out? Yeah, is there a method? I'd probably say, is there a method you can, uh, is there a method, a step-by-step -step process you can use to gain 100% clarity? It's a small change, but you get the point, I think. Yeah. The answer is a resounding yes. Okay. That's, that needs to be stronger. This this wants to, I think something along the lines of the answer for many people just like you has been a resounding rest. yes. So now we're relating it back to them, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just a slight change, but I think it, it slight, it, it's slight, I think it's slightly less hypey if you do it that way. Mm -hmm. And then you've got all the information and so on. Okay, what I want to do is just check if we've got any other questions. If anybody has any other questions, now's the time to ask them. Michael, if you want to, um, we can have a look at your website another time and just finish yeah, off. But I appreciate um, that. Yeah, I think we spent I think quite people, a bit of time on that. Yeah. Well, I think people are getting the idea of what you can do mm -hmm. with these websites. I think I should yeah. show them the offer one more time. The offer ends midnight on uh, Sunday. That's April the 5th, Eastern Standard Time. At checkout, you're going to use the code build my sites, no spaces, and you will get a discount of $100. So you go to nichejet.com authority site, as you can see here. If you're on the replay, just click below. That's fine. You'll be able to uh, see the button to get that. And what you're getting is $100 off, normally $397, but right now until the uh, clock strikes midnight on Sunday, you're getting $100 off. Five unique articles. They'll have images. Some will have YouTubes a custom header graphic, a premium web, uh, WordPress theme, and a Facebook fan page. Now, of course, if your niche is something adult or gambling or that kind of thing, we can't take it. So uh, most topics we can take, but there are some that we may have to say no. So adult hate and certain other topics, we'd have to say no. We want basically to create family-friendly sites. These sites have generated, this type of site, a lot of money for us in AdSense, a lot of money for people who bought them, but there are more opportunities for advertising than just AdSense. You can create your own products, you can do Amazon Associates, you can do ClickBank, JVZoo, Warrior Plus, and individual programs from product manufacturers, ebook creators, video course creators, whatever may be relevant to your particular topic. So let me show you the code one more time. Build my sites, no spaces. Use the button below if you're on the replay. If you're with me live, you can see in the chat box the links to the website where the checkout is. Uh, and if you do have any other questions after we finish, please let me know, and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I've got a question from April here. Am I going to offer this service to prospective members? One-to-one -one Skype or one-to-one -one live? Oh, I see. Um, I think April's asking if... Um, we're talking about website critique and consultation. Um, if, if somebody wants it, you can contact us and we'll, we'll work out a suitable rate and so on. But yeah, it, I think for some people it's useful to be told what about this and what about that, and, you know, just to give you some ideas. Not everybody wants that, and you know, it depends on what kind of website you're wanting to build, of course, and how big you want to make it. Some people just want a simple website, that's fine. But yeah, it's something we could certainly look at. So remember. The offer will extend until Sunday, April 5th, at midnight. And at the stroke of midnight, the price goes back to 397 So please, don't lose your chance to, miss uh, to save $100. Take action now. I would like to thank everybody for sticking with us. This was longer than a traditional webinar for promotions because we were doing a lot of training. I think when you get the replay, we'll send everybody the replay. You'll get a lot of value from going over these points again. Please remember, it's the principle that counts, not the exact wording we used. It's the principle of how you deal with the structure, how you can repurpose it, and so on. Michael, from what we've discussed, is there anything uh, that we've gone over that might have been confusing for you or anything you want any final questions on? No, um, all questions answered. This has been um, brilliant, as um, all the previous uh, ones I just listened to and wasn't a participant in. It's been a very interesting and very helpful experience, and I appreciate all the time you spent on this. Um, if I may make just one small comment, 
you know, how I mentioned before, now is the time to do it because we most of us have time on our hands. There is another aspect to that. If if you have something, an idea which you think this is going to help people, then, you know, you almost have an obligation to put it out there. And yes. if you can if you can change one person's life with your idea or the service you offer and this website helps you. Uh, connect with someone, then that's worth all the effort. Sure, we all want to make money with our businesses and websites, but you know, if if there is something in what you're doing or what you have a passion about, and you know that can help people, then you know this this is a unique um, opportunity to make your job of getting your message and your help out to people a lot faster and a lot easier, and you're saving yourself a lot of pain. So. That's another aspect I wanted to mention, um, which has very little to do with the money side of things, but very much to, uh, you know, if you if you have something that helps, hey, this is a good way of getting it out there. That's absolutely a very good point. And, you know, I think the proof is the fact that you're all here um, and you're looking for information. You're looking for ways to do things. Everybody else is doing the same, you know, and I look at certain websites for information about my particular hobbies and, and things I'm looking to get information on. So do you. So does Michael. We all do. That's why the Internet is so popular. We all we all use it to research. And there's a tremendous amount of information out there. Some of it is lousy. We know that. So if you can put good information out there and help somebody along the way, as Michael has said, I think you have an obligation as well. If you're just trying to get a few bucks off people and you don't really care, well, that's not very nice, but you can make money and be of service to people as well. You know, you can actually do something good for people as well as make money. And that's really nice. If you know you've done something that's good for people and you make some money as well, it's great. It really is. Michael is going to be helping people, certainly at this stage individually with a direct experience, but then the online sessions and so on. Michael, if anybody did happen to want more information about this process from you, and perhaps I know it's early days, but you're thinking about franchising and possibly some kind of um, buy-in affiliate website that you, you we were talking about earlier, uh, what would be the best thing for them to do? If they do want information, if they contact me, shall I put them in touch with you, or how would you like me to deal with that if anybody does ask? Yeah, that would be uh, fantastic. Uh, we can also put uh, my email um, in, but uh, if you're happy to be facilitator, if it doesn't take up too much of your time, that would be, yeah, that would be easiest. Yep. Okay, so anybody, if you want to know more about the living funeral process, which has at its core, uh, the, at the core of it, the the desire to help people live the life that they dream of before it's too late by examining the life that they've already lived to see where it's fallen short of that dream and then make appropriate adjustments to live that life of their dream. That's something that I think most people in the world could do with, really, because nearly everybody in those final days says the same thing. Nearly everybody which tells you that the entire planet is actually a potential marketplace for this particular experience. Now, of course, not everybody will take it, but there is a massive number of people who would benefit from this. So if you do want information about that, let me know and I'll contact Michael and I'll put you in touch with each other and you can discuss it. Um, I know it's early days with Michael's plans for that at the moment, so it may be you know a few weeks down the line before he would be able to give you any information, but, um, you know, by all means, contact me, and if you are interested in that, uh, we'll, we'll put you together so you can talk directly. Okay, just want to say thank you for everybody spending so long with us. The replay will be sent out. If you're watching the replay, you'll be able to watch it as many times as you want. And remember, the offer does finish on Sunday, April 5th at midnight. So if you want to save the $100, do it now. Take action while you still can. Michael, thank you very much for joining me. I know it's very early in the morning for you over there. Well, probably thank not early much. now because we've been on so long. Um, <laughs> and thank you for sharing your information. Um, I know many people are a bit sensitive about sharing their websites and so on. 
in case people copy them and what have you. But you've, you've been very generous with the information you've shared and your story in terms of how you started and so on, which is useful for people to know because it means you can make a start even if you're not technical at this point. You can make a start. And if you want to produce something, you've got to make a start. Nothing happens until you take that first step. And the first step, get yourself a niche authority site. And I will see you on the next webinar. Michael, thank you very much again, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye now.